Hi, so you want to learn Azure. You might have some common questions around where to start as a beginner learning Azure, or you might have some questions about which Azure certification is more relevant for you with your current role or as a beginner. Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Tech Labs by Haribindi. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing about Microsoft Azure Certification Path 2020. Microsoft Azure Certification Path 2020 is a role-based certification. Microsoft has done away with the technology-based certifications until, uh, which was uh, existing until recently. And since March 2020, they have changed to a role-based certification. In the rest of this video, we will discuss about what these role-based certifications are. So as I said, Microsoft has designed nine role-based certifications. And these are Azure Administrator, Azure AI Engineer, Data Engineer, Azure Data Scientist, Azure Database Administrator, Azure Security Engineer, Azure Solution Architect, Azure DevOps Engineer, and Azure Developer. In the rest of this video, we will take a little more detailed look about each of the certifications, uh, the role definitions, and the skills measured uh, to accomplish this certification. So let's start with Azure Administrator Associate. To get this certification, you would need to take only one exam, which is AZ104. Azure administrators implement, monitor, and maintain Microsoft Azure solutions, including major services related to compute, storage, network, and security. An Azure administrator often serves as part of a larger team dedicated to implementing your organization's cloud infrastructure. So the skills measured are manage Azure identities and governance, implement and manage storage, deploy Azure compute resources, configure with virtual networks, monitor and backup Azure resources. This role should have experience using PowerShell, Azure CLI, which is short for command line interface, Azure portal and Azure resource manager templates. On successful completion of this certificate uh, of this examination, I'm sorry, you would be getting certified as Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate. So the next certification that we would be looking at is Azure Data Engineer Associate. This uh, to get this certification, you need to complete two exams, which is DP200, which is implementing an Azure data solution, and DP201, which is designing an Azure data solution. On successful completion of both these examinations, you would be certified as Azure Data Engineer Associate. Azure Data Engineers are uh, design and implement the management, monitoring, security, and privacy of data using the full stack of Azure data services to satisfy business needs. Candidates for this exam must be able to implement data solutions that use following Azure services like Azure Cosmos DB, Azure SQL Database, Azure Synapse Analytics, which was formerly known as Azure Data Warehouse, Azure Data Lake Storage, Azure Data Factory, Azure Stream Analytics, Databricks, and Blob Storage. So we will try to look at what are the skills that are required on each of these certifications. For DP200, the skills that are measured are implement data storage solutions, manage and develop data processing, monitor and optimize data solutions. On the other side, which is DP201, they should be able to design Azure data storage solutions, design data processing solutions, and design for data security and compliance. The next certification that we would be looking at is Azure Data Scientist Associate. So this role is for the data scientists, which is pretty evident from the certification name. So the examination that you would need to take up is DP100. 
So the Azure data scientist applies their knowledge of data science and machine learning to implement and run machine learning workloads on Azure in particular using Azure machine learning services. So the skills that would be measured for this certification are set up an Azure machine learning workspace, run experiments and train models, optimize and manage models, deploy and consume models. On a successful completion, you would be certified as Azure Data Scientist Associate. The next certification that we are going to look at is Azure Database Administrator Associate. This is for uh, database administrators, obviously, and they need to take only one examination, which is DP300. The Azure Database Administrator implements and manages the operational aspects of cloud native and hybrid data platform solutions built on Microsoft Azure Data Services and Microsoft SQL Server. The skills that are measured for this examination are they should be able to plan and implement data platform resources, implement a secure environment, monitor and optimize operational resources, optimize query performance, perform automation of tasks, plan and implement a high availability and a disaster recovery environment, perform administration by using T-SQL. This role works with Azure Data Engineer role to manage operational aspects of data platform solutions. The next role we would be discussing is about Azure Developer Associate. So this also requires only one examination, which is AZ204. Microsoft Azure developers design, build, test, and maintain cloud solutions such as applications and services and would be partnering with the cloud solution architects, DBAs, cloud administrators, and clients to implement these solutions. The skills measured for this examination are develop Azure Compute Solutions, develop for Azure Storage, implement Azure Security, monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize Azure Solutions, connect to and consume Azure Services and third-party services. Azure developers partner with Cloud Solution Architects and DBAs, as I said before. This role should have the ability programming in languages supported by Azure and proficiency in Azure SDKs, Azure PowerShell, Azure CLI, data storage options, data connections, APIs, app authentication and authorization, compute and container deployment, debugging, performance tuning, and monitoring. The next role-based certification we would be looking at is Azure DevOps Engineer Expert. So this examination to certify to get certified as Azure DevOps Engineer Expert, you should either complete one prerequisite exam, which is either AZ104, an Azure Administrator Associate, or Azure Developer Associate, which is AZ204. In combination with one of these, if you complete AZ400, which is Azure DevOps solution, you will be certified as Azure DevOps engineer expert. So candidates for this exam are DevOps professionals who combine people, processes, and technologies to continuously deliver valuable products and services that meet end user needs and business objectives. Azure DevOps professionals must be able to design and implement DevOps practices for version control, compliance, infrastructure as code, configuration management, build, release, and testing by using Azure technologies. Now we will look at what are the skills required for these, uh, this uh, certification AHZ400. So the skills measured would be design a DevOps strategy, implement DevOps development processes, implement continuous integration, continuous delivery, dependency management, application infrastructure, and continuous feedback. On successful completion, you would be certified as Azure DevOps Engineer Expert. The next role that we would be discussing here is Azure Security Engineer. Azure Security Engineer is a one exam, which is AZ500. 
Azure security engineers implement security controls and threat protection, manage identity and access, and protect data, applications, and networks in cloud and hybrid environments as part of end-to-end -end infrastructure. The skills measured are manage identity and access, implement platform protection, manage security operations, secure data and applications. Candidates for this exam should have strong skills in scripting and automation, a deep understanding of networking, virtualization, and cloud end-tier architecture, and a strong familiarity with cloud capabilities, Microsoft Azure products and services, and other Microsoft products and services. On a successful completion, you would be certified as Azure Security Engineer Associate. And the next role-based certification would be Azure Solution Architect. Azure Solution Architect is a combination of two exams, AZ300, which is Azure Architect, and AZ301, which is Azure Architect Design. With, uh, which is going to change starting from uh, somewhere in like around 22nd of June, I think, according to Microsoft website. So AZ300 is going to become AZ303 and AZ301 is going to become AZ304. On a successful completion of these two certifications, these two examinations, you would be certified as Azure Solutions Architect Expert. So candidates for this Azure Solutions Architect Expert certification should have subject matter expertise in designing and implementing solutions that run on Microsoft Azure, including aspects like compute, network, storage, and security. Responsibilities for this role include advising stakeholders and translating business requirements into secure, scalable, and reliable cloud solutions. Efficient in Azure administration, development and DevOps and have expert level skills in at least uh, uh, at least one of those uh, domains that I mentioned before. Uh, the skills that are going to be measured for this examination uh, for each of those uh, AZ300 and AZ301 are. For AZ300 it would be uh, the skills measured would be to deploy and manage infrastructure, implement workloads and security, create and deploy apps, implement authentication and secure data, develop for cloud and for Azure storage. And for AZ301, it would be determine workload requirements, design for identity and security, design a data platform solution, design a business continuity strategy, design for deployment, migration, and integration, design an infrastructure strategy. On successful completion of both these examinations, you would be certified as Azure Solutions Architect Expert. These are the nine role-based certifications Microsoft has defined. Uh, this is a small snapshot of uh, the certifications uh, Microsoft has currently designed in a role-based. Uh, as you see, I have segregated them into three parts, which is fundamentals, role-based, and speciality. Um, so this is the one I'm speaking about. So there are some specialty certifications. I will discuss about that. And in role-based, you have associate exams and you have expert level exams. So there are two categories of these certifications. One category of certifications come under apps and infrastructure and other category of certifications come under data and artificial intelligence. So the fundamentals for both of them still remain the same, which is AZ900, which is Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. And if you're going for a role-based certification, and then you have uh, AZ104, I'm just highlighting that part. So here you see that AZ104 and AZ400 will get you a uh, certified Azure DevOps engineer expert. Or if you're going through a developer route as AZ204, and then you take AZ400, you still get the same Azure DevOps Engineer Certificate. So basically, as you see, there are two routes to become an Azure DevOps Engineer Expert. So, uh, and the remaining ones are pretty the same, pretty much the same, like AZ500 is uh, security, uh, uh, AZ300 and 301, I want to emphasize on that, which is Azure Solutions Architect Expert. 
uh, which is a combination of two ex uh, two examinations azure architect technologies and azure architect design certifies you as an azure solutions architect expert similarly uh, in the data side there is dp200 and dp201 which gives you an azure data engineer associate so doing only one of them you will not be getting the microsoft badge there if you complete both of them dp200 and 201 you would get data engineer associate so there are a few specialty uh, certifications like planning and administering microsoft azure for sap workloads and microsoft azure iot developer so these are some specialty certifications so that's all uh, for now folks i hope uh, this video was helpful and deciding which certification path you need to take up in 2020 if you like my video please do not forget to subscribe and hit a like so that would help me to create more useful videos